In this video, I am going to discuss the effect on FSC that is free surface correction due to pumping out the tank. So first, let us consider a scenario where the tank is completely filled. So let's take this tank which is 12 meter here, 10 meter wide and 6 meter deep. Well, the tank is up to the keel so we call it as a deep tank and say it is filled with fresh water. Let us also take some values that km that is metacentric height from keel of the vessel is a 7 meter and the kg is a 6 meter. Well, the gm solid will be km minus kg which is 1 meter. Now, since the tank is completely filled, the free surface correction in this case will be zero and we get this GM fluid as one meter. Now let us assume that this tank is a 50% pumped out. So half of the tank is pumped out. We need to analyze what happens on the GM of this tank. Well, now the tank is partly filled or we call it as a slack tank and here the KM is 7 assuming that KM doesn't change but the kg has changed. Initially the kg was 6 meter but now the kg has a change. So the GM solid is also changed and FSC is also changed because now the tank is no more completely filled. The tank is slack and the liquid is free to move and this will cause a free surface effect and eventually we need to have a free surface correction. So this one is out and this one is out and of course this one is also out. So the tank is pumped out by 3 meter and the 3 meter is balanced. The sounding of the tank is now 3 meter. Let's work out how much is the quantity pumped out. So the quantity pumped out is volume into density and we have to know the volume which is 12 into 10 into 3 and the density of fresh water we can take 1 which is the relative density of fresh water so the value is uh, 360 ton well let me just uh, show you here 12 meter length 10 meter breadth and 3 meter this one so this one is also 3 meter and this one is also 3 meter so this one is pumped out the top portion well this is the side which we see from port and starboard that is upward ship direction or transverse direction of the vessel now we need to find the shift in the center of gravity of the vessel which is given by this formula small w uh, or small w into small d divided by capital w and f well this is the way how it is going to look. Now kg was here which is uh, 6 meter and we discharge some weight down below k is small g. And let's find out how much is the k is small g. Well the geometrical center of this uh, discharge portion will be at the midpoint of this and the distance from keel is going to be k is small g so this is 3 meter plus this one is uh, 1.5 so k small g is uh, 1.5 plus 3 that is 4.5 now the value of d is kg of the ship and kg of the weight discharge so this one is a uh, 6 meter and this one is 4.5 so this is the value of d now the displacement of the ship is uh, assumed that this is 10000 ton 10000 ton so the final displacement will be 10000 ton minus the weight discharge which is which is uh, 360 ton so we get this value which is 0 0.056 meter so if we look carefully here 
the weight is discharged the weight is discharged from this uh, small g so the top is heavy because weight is discharged from bottom so the center of gravity will rise and i can easily calculate kg1 which is new kg as uh, 6.056 after adding 6 plus uh, this value kg of the vessel was 6 meter well km is already given which is 7 meter and assuming that the km doesn't change we can easily find the gm solid which is a uh, difference from km minus kg and gm fluid also can be obtained so let's find out the gm solid which is 0 0.944 which is 7 meter minus 6.056 now let us work out on free surface correction which is given by this formula that free surface correction is free surface movement divided by uh, displacement while well, free surface movement is given by I into di where I is the second moment of area or moment of inertia about center line for walk shape vessel it is LBQ by 12 and di is the density of a liquid inside which is fresh water so the dimensions were 12 10 and 8 12 10 and 6 12 10 and 6 no problem all we need to find out and the value is 1000 ton meter well the final displacement is uh, 9640 because we discharge from 10,000 so I get the value of FSC as 0 0.104 and now I will bring the value of this uh, FSC so 0 0.944 minus 0 0.104 and I get this value which is 0 0.840 meter well the same problem can be solved by this uh, moment table well the same problem can be solved by this moment table where this is remark weight in tons kg the distance from keel in meter and vertical movement which is the product of weight and kg in turn meter so first we have the vessel which is ship weight was uh, 10,000 ton kg of the ship was 6 meter so the product is a 60,000 now we pump out 360 ton and the kg was 4.5 meter let's go back to have a look so here the kg this one is 1.5 and this is 3 meter because because this value is 3 meter here so 3 meter plus 1.5 meter which is uh, which is uh, let me just mark here which is this one this is 1.5 so the total value is 4.5 meter now since the weight is discharged so I will use minus sign here and the vertical movement the effect of this discharge is it will reduce my vertical movement so I will uh, put minus sign now the free surface movement is also affecting my vertical movement and free surface movement is increasing the value of center of gravity in the higher side so I use this free surface movement directly I can add it and I get uh, the final weight as 9640 yeah makes sense 10,000 minus 360 and the final vertical movement is uh, uh this uh, this plus uh this minus this plus this so 59380 and well the final kg and this kg will be the fluid kg and i get this value or round off to 6.160 if we look at this diagram we will understand this uh, this was k and this was a g and the kg has uh, uh, increased and this is uh, V vertical shift which is a uh, free surface uh, uh, correction now the value of GM fluid will be km which is 7 meter minus kg fluid and this this is K and GV that is the kg fluid 
so i get this value 0